Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa and welcome to my Pink Contemporary. In today's video, I will be creating a beautiful pore painting with the paint from Little Birdie, this gorgeous new paint I found. And at the end of the video, I will be reviewing the paint and giving my final thoughts on it. So let's get started with the painting. Hey guys, so here is the paint from Little Birdie, these beautiful little containers. They are absolutely adorable. And they have beautiful colors as well. So I already pre-mixed the paint in these little containers I got at a discount store. And I did mix them well. I did add some Floetrol. Basically it is a 2 to 1 ratio, but I will discuss that more in detail at the end of the video. And I will be pouring directly on top of this beautiful black canvas I got from Arteza. I'm going to be layering my cup and doing a straight pour. Hey guys, so I am back. So this is my official review of this little birdie acrylic pouring paint. Now what is weird is, is that some of the colors like this, um, what is it called? Cherry tomato. And I believe it was this one, the plum orchid. When I was mixing them up with the flow troll, okay. Um, because I wanted to give you kind of like, sorry, a ratio of like how much flow troll to paint, but I actually can't in this case because I had to go on a case by case or color by color, um, you know, the way I did it because each is very strange. So a lot of these paints were thicker than others. So like the cherry tomato and this plum orchid was incredibly 
thin coming out of the bottle. Now I shook them all before I even started mixing them, like I always do. I mix, you know, I shook these first, poured into the cup. Um, I actually add a little Floetrol first, but when it started pouring out, I was like, wow, these are really thin. But then something like this Pineapple Crush was incredibly thick. Um, and the Pink Tango was very thick. So most of them were like a medium to thick consistency, but then some of the colors were very thin, which I found very, very weird. But regardless of that, I mean, I love the packaging. It is absolutely adorable. I do think they're a little expensive. Um, if they're not on sale, they're $5 each. And it's 60 milliliters, which I don't have no idea. Probably it's like maybe it's probably like two ounces, something like that. Okay, five dollars each for two ounces is quite, I, I think, is along the more expensive side, which is cool. I mean, they're like a specialty store, whatever. But you know, again, I got these on sale for like 280, so that's good. All right, the colors are absolutely beautiful. I love the colors and I love the packaging. Um, what I didn't like was the fact that the texture. The thinness and thickness was very inconsistent. So I can't even tell you what ratio to put um, your Floetrol. Like usually it's like maybe two parts Floetrol to one part paint. I had to go on a case by case or a color by color, um, you know, basis, okay? Because it, one was thinner than the other. So that is my only complaint, okay? Other than that, I think this painting came out beautiful. Let me do a little close-up. Um, there was cell creation because I did use Floetrol and, uh, you know, Floetrol definitely creates cells. But I actually, all in all, I used all the colors. Usually I don't do that. Um, but I just wanted to try them all because they're all, I really thought they were beautiful. And what I did do was, I don't know if you noticed, I did not use straight black. I actually mixed these two, the black and the white, to make a very pretty gray. I thought that would actually go better with this, with the, with the other colors. And yeah, and then I poured off a little more off the edge there um, because I didn't like so much of the red in this corner. I actually like this kind of yellow and blue and the white and the gray were really beautiful. So no, all in all, I actually like them. I just think they're a little expensive. Um, will I be buying these again? I mean, they do have other colors. I may buy them again if they're on sale. Okay. Um, but I, all in all, I think I like them. I just don't like the, the inconsistency of the paint itself. I think that if you have a brand, they should all be the same thinness or thickness. That's how I feel. Usually there's, you know, there's differences in different brands. You're talking about Artist Loft to, you know, Primal Flow to Arteza, or whatever it is, they all have their own textures, their own thinness and thickness. You talk about a heavy body to a lighter body, medium body. So depend that depends on how, and then you could see how much Floetrol or how much medium you need. In this case, I couldn't even tell you which one or how much I added to each one because I had to deal with it as I went color by color. So it was the only thing I did not like. But overall, I do like them. I think they're awesome. And thank you, dude, for that motorcycle. Beautiful. <laughs> anyway, so that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the port today. I hope you enjoyed the review. I don't know if you guys, if you are interested in getting some of these for yourself, um, I mean, I think they are worth a try that I give you. I think they're worth a try and yeah, I, I would just get like a few colors. See if you like them yourself. That's it. You know, uh, maybe I'll try them again. Uh, you definitely need a pouring medium. You definitely need a pouring medium of these. Maybe I'll try them again with a different pouring medium. We'll see. I mean, I'll definitely be using these again. That's, that's absolutely a fact because these are just really pretty. And I do love the packaging. And even if I don't buy them again, I actually could use these again and repurpose these um, bottles. I think they're adorable because uh, they are plastic, not glass. So I think that's cool. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. You could follow me on my social media. All the links are down below. And if you would like to further support my channel, you can uh, donate to my PayPal. And if anyone is interested in buying a painting like this one, I have my email in the description below as well. 
So thank you guys so, so much for watching today. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.